Yo, it is good, yo, it's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, we are going to be going over the new update today that does give us some new triple threat rewards. So obviously, we've seen the old triple threat rewards with Ron Boone, obviously with Gus the Bus Gerard, but we are going to see two new ones today. As you guys can see with the update here, triple threat update, and then you guys can see Car and Louis Dampier. So we're going to see kind of what this update is are these cards good are they just okay are these cards usable in my team that's what we are going to be going over today before we dive into that if you are new to my channel and have not yet please consider smashing that subscribe button as we're on the road to 80 000 subscribers so we're going to start it off with louis dampier right triple threat offline reward here as you guys can see what ron boone was is i think what louis dampier is going to be now First thing for Louis Dampier that I want you guys to know is he's six feet tall. Now, normally in past years when Louis Dampier has been out, he hasn't really been usable because of that height. But I want you guys to know, six foot, six foot point guards are still usable right now in my team. So six, seven wingspan is solid enough hotspot from the top of the key. And the left hash, 93 ball, can't drunk, dunk, but that's okay. 92 speed ball, 90 ball handle, 92 speed acceleration. What I like is the 75 interior. That might not mean a lot to you, but it is very solid. 89 perimeter defense, 87 lateral quickness. Does have the Hall of Fame mismatch expert. Some good shooting badges here as well. Hall of Fame floor general is a good badge. Defensively, leaves a little bit to be desired, but can basically get any badge applied to him. Now, the big thing for him is the tony parker base right we it's not really what it has been in past years is it terrible i don't necessarily think it's terrible but again if we look at louis dampier right in past 2ks we're gonna see that i mean he's been solid right louis dampier i shouldn't say solid but release wise hey, that tony parker release used to be better is what i'm trying to tell you guys at this stage in my team the tony parker release it just keeps getting worse and worse through the years so do i think louis dampier is going to be good the answer to that question is no. Do I think he's going to be as good as this Ron Boone was? The answer to that question is no. So that's kind of where I'm at as far as Louis Dampier. Do I think he can be used if you get him? Yes. Do I think he's going to be okay? Yes. But do I think he's going to be a top five point guard in the game? And the answer to that question is no. I don't. I don't think he's going to be quite that top five level but he's solid especially playmaker wise very very solid. It's going to be intriguing with the slasher dribble style just to see kind of what that's like check out the other ones pro size up which is solid russ's uh, signature combo with obviously the kd size of escape tatum moving uh, across from the wiggins behind the back so i don't think dampier is going to be that terrible but it's just I, I have a hard time seeing him be any better than ron boone is and so is louis dampier going to be worth grinding for for you i would say no if you weren't grinding for ron boone there's no reason to grind for louis dampier now here we get our triple threat online reward where we've seen Gus Gerard. So hopefully you guys were able to get Gus the bus because he was very, very solid. Now we get Carr, okay? ML Carr. Here's 6'6", six, 6'9", six, six, weak spin, three out of famers, 13 on gold, eight on silver with two on bronze. Now here's the thing about this card. This card is fantastic. This card is absolutely fantastic, okay? A 75 three ball, jump shot 75 on quick. Very incredible. Just think of a Siakam base, but that on quick. 85 speed acceleration, 85 driving duck. We got a 95 lateral quickness, 84 speed ball, 83 ball handle, which obviously is going to get to where it needs to be with the coach. This card's fantastic. Here's the thing. You put quick first step on this guy. You put some shooting badges. He can't get any shooting badges, but here's the thing, okay? You put quick first step on the card. You, you finish him defensively, put rim protector, you put post lockdown on him, whatever you have to do, maybe some other playmaking badges as well. And you're looking at one of the best three and D cards in the game. I get it, shooting badges, he's not going to have a lot of them, but a 75 three ball with a coach, floor general, whatever, it's going to get to the low 80s. Jump shot 75 on quick is going to be just fine enough. And at the shooting guard position, we might be looking at the best shooting guard in all of my team. That's my opinion. I mean, I don't like making this comparison, but I'm going to, right, to Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi's got a better three ball, a better release. We know that. But look at the defense. Car plus three speed. Car plus five lateral quickness. I get it, Kawhi's a little better interior-wise. Plus 20 steel. Like, it's just this car is incredible. I'm telling you guys, he's a card I'm going to definitely grind for. 82 on ball steel tendency as well this card is fantastic i when these cards first came out i wasn't sure whether car would be good i wasn't sure uh obviously louis dampier i had maybe some hopes for with his if they gave him a cheesier release but this car is fantastic like i looked at dampier first just because normally they triple their offline rewards 
maybe are more worth it, but I I'm glad that they're making Triple Threat Online the 100 cards worth it. I know this card's not gonna be easy to get for the most, of the majority of you guys watching this video, but if you look at his stats, I mean, this card is fantastic. You look at it, Hall of Fame, Pickpocket, Off-Ball Pest, Tyler's Defender, as well as all these gold badges that are just absolutely fantastic. And you're definitely probably looking at one of the best defenders in a perimeter defenders in all of my team. You just are. So if, if you're up against the Kyrie Irving, I'm not so sure that this defense, defender in ML car is not the best dude to put on him. I'm just not. With his speed, his lateral quickness, I'm just not sure he's not the best defender in the game right now. This is a car we could see used for the next two or three weeks. I, I have no doubts. The next two or three weeks, I would be so shocked and so surprised if we saw an as good of a defender as him. And I get it, his three ball might be a little low for what you guys want, but you guys got to remember, right? 75 three ball. Let's just compare him to some, let, let's just see some other players in 2K that might have a 75 three ball. Let's just do it. Let, let, let's just look at that because I want you guys to kind of get a good feel of it, okay? I don't, I'm not going to search by that. But let's just go to the shooting guard position. Let's just look up this guy, for example. A lot of guys green super consistently with this card. 76 three ball. Everybody's greeted with the Ruby Pascal Siakam with that base on normal timing, 76 three ball. So it's like, I, I get you guys might be worried about it, but trust you with the coach, Floor General Dimer, he is going to be able to green shots. Now, does it worry me that the fact that he can't get any shooting badge in the game? Yes, that, that's a little bit concerning to me. But is it concerning enough, right, for me to be like, okay, ML car is definitely not worth grinding for? Absolutely not. He's 6'6 at the shooting guard position. And right now, the shooting guard position right now is, is weak, guys. I'm just going to put it out there. The shooting guard position right now is pretty weak. Mitch Richmond's fine. Dwayne Wade's fine. But we don't have any great players right now at the shooting guard position. You look at this Amethyst Julius serving, who is very solid. But just think of Carr is going to be a way better version of Dr. J. That's kind of the way I'm looking at things. You look at the defensive badges for Dr. J. They're solid but they're nothing like this car like badge wise defensively this car is in a league of his own there's nobody that has the badges like he does and i promise you for people who like you know running their offense if you put car on him he's got good rebounding stats he can just do a little bit of everything and that's the thing i like about him the fact that he can get quick first step can get you know the handles for days unpluckable get those types of badges look i get it the shooting badges are a little bit of a concern maybe to me but he's going to be the best defender outside of Kawhi, probably in all of 2K. That's why I'm excited about Carr. Definitely a guy I'm looking to add to my squad today. But that is going to wrap it up for our video. Let me know your thoughts about Carr, about Dampier down below in the comments. If you guys are high on Louis Dampier, tell me why. I, I just, I, I personally don't see it. He's going to be okay. But as far as the top point guard in the game, I don't necessarily see it. But let me know if you guys see it down below in the comments because maybe you guys see something that i don't but and let me know your thoughts on car are you guys as high on car as i am because i think this dude is going to be absolutely fantastic hopefully you guys did enjoy this video drop a like on the video subscribe if you are new and as always man i love you guys and have a blessed day